A man died in Saginaw this morning, but police are still trying to piece together exactly what happened. There was gunfire and there was a pedestrian accident under the I-675 overpass on the city's east side. But Terry, it appears this was a complicated crime scene. Yes, police do confirm a 33 year old from Saginaw has died after being hit by a vehicle. How that crash is tied to the reported gunfire in the area is still under investigation. Yeah, it's very sad. We hate to see anyone lose their lives. It was just after nine Thursday morning when there were reports of gunfire near Wadsworth and Fifth Street, which runs under I-675, not far from the Dow Event Center. Saginaw police closed off a few roads as they attempted to piece together what happened. A man who apparently was walking under the bridge had been hit by a vehicle. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. A white SUV with its airbags deployed had crashed not far from where the body was discovered, but police would not confirm if that was indeed the vehicle that struck the 33-year-old man. Police say the driver of that SUV is cooperating with investigators. Police could not confirm who was actually firing the gunshots. A number of people came to the scene, and there was plenty of emotion as police continued to investigate. I'm having trouble here with crime myself as a homeowner. It was just last weekend when 15-year-old Khalil Harris was shot and killed on the west side of the city. Police are searching for suspects. The moral has to change in the community. And until we get people that's more inspirational in the community, we won't have anything inspirational in the show. I mean, Williams blames a certain type of business that he believes leads to uninspiring behavior. When you have, unfortunately, recreational weed facilities open everywhere. And it's like McDonald's. You now, police spoke to a number of witnesses at the scene, but they are also asking anyone with information about this incident to call the state police.